Father Damien was born Joseph de Fuster on January 13, 1840, in Tremolo, Belgium, from a devout Catholic family. During a mission given by Redemptorist fathers, he heard the voice calling him to a life for God. At age 19, he entered the Congregation of the Sacred Hearts of Jesus and Mary and chose as his religious name Damien, the martyr saint who took care of the sick of his time. When his brother, who was assigned to what he felt ill, Damien asked permission to take his place, although he was not yet ordained a priest. His trip by boat took six months. He arrived in Honolulu on March 19, the Feast of St. Joseph, 1864. He spent two months studying Hawaiian and preparing for the priesthood. He was ordained in the Cathedral of Our Lady of Peace in Honolulu on May 21, 1864. After a few days, he was sent to the Big Island of Hawaii. On the way, the boat landed in Lahaina, Maui. He went to visit the priests, and in the meantime, the boat left. He had to wait for the next boat, which brought him to Kohala, Hawaii. After one year, he was transferred to Puna, a very large district where he worked for eight more years. Then he met the first patients of leprosy, who were torn away from their families and banned to the small peninsula of Molokai. This terrible disease was brought to Hawaii several years later and no one could help these poor sufferers. So they were banned from the population to prevent a worse spreading of the disease. In May 1874, Damien and a few other priests were called by the bishop to attend the blessing of the first stone church of St. Anthony in Wailuku, Maui. There, the bishop consulted them about the dire need of spiritual help for the patients on Molokai. The suggestion was accepted that several of them would take turns going for three months, but Damien volunteered to stay for life. He had found his niche in lots of work for the least of Jesus' brothers and sisters. For lack of a house, he slept for several days under a pandanus tree next to the small church that had been built by the Sacred Hearts Brothers and where once in a while a priest would come to administer the sacraments but not to stay. Since he was practically alone, he did all the things that needed to be done. He built houses and hospitals, took care of the patient's spiritual and physical needs, and made coffins and dug graves for the hundreds who died during his stay there. Statistics tell us that there were 800 patients when he arrived. In the next 16 years, 2,274 more arrived with 2,300 deaths during the time, which meant that there were about 1,000 sufferers at any given time. Father Damien also built several churches, both in Kalapapa and on Topside Molokai, indicating that he had to climb the 2,000-foot poly often. A few times, priests helped him out, but they did not stay long. One of the best workers who came to stay was a layman named Joseph Dutton. He was a soldier and a convert. While spending some time with the Trappists, Dutton read an article about Father Damien. He then left everything behind and offered to help Father Damien. He was put in charge of the orphan boys, while Mother Marianne Cope and her sisters took care of the girls. Dutton remained in Kalapapa for over 40 years, never leaving the island. Damien contracted leprosy in 1884, but continued his work until a few days before he died on April 15, 1889. His beautiful words were, How sweet it is to die a child of the Sacred Hearts. He wrote to his brother, I am the happiest missionary in the world. He had transformed the colony into a place of hope, even joy. A simple band of musicians helped him build the spirit even at funerals. He had shown the patients that God loved each one of them and that his presence among them was proof of God's love. The world got to know about this heroic man, and soon gifts started to come in from all over the world, including from Protestant friends in England. When the colony was moved from Kalavao to Kalaupapa, his grave and his church became deserted. His remains were brought back in triumph to Belgium in 1936. He rests now in the crypt 
of the church where he first entered religious life. Paul VI declared him venerable on July 9, 1977. On June 4, 1995, Pope John Paul II declared him Blessed Damien, and his feast is on May 10, the day he entered Molokai. On July 22, 1995, the relic of his right hand was reinterred in his former grave on Molokai after a triumphant tour of all the islands. On October 11, 2009, Blessed Father Damien will be canonized a saint by our Pope, Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. Nine Boy Scouts from all over Oahu were chosen to attend the canonization of Father Damien on October 11, 2009. The Knights of Columbus Council 5000 of Our Lady of Peace will be the principal sponsors of this trip. The mission of the Boy Scouts will be to videotape the events and the festivities leading up to and including the canonization. The Boy Scouts will also interview Boy Scouts from all over, including Tremolo, the hometown of Father Damien. The video and the interviews will then be posted nightly on the internet. This will give the children of Hawaii and of the world an opportunity to see the blessed events as they occur daily. Also on the internet, the boys will provide live chats daily with various schools from around the world. This will give school children the opportunity to ask questions and to get a first-hand account of what's happening from other youths and their peers. So lastly, thank you each and every one of you for your continued support, love, and especially all the prayers that you have provided to us. We will take this with us. I am confident that these boys, these young men from Hawaii, will do us proud and to show this world who Father Damien truly is. Aloha and mahalo.